What is up, my friends? Welcome to Rebel and Create's Craft of Fatherhood podcast. I'm your guide, Ned Shout. I believe fatherhood has the influence, power, opportunity to make huge impact in our world through embracing who you are as a father and really jumping in wholeheartedly to the adventure of fatherhood. I want to talk about our language, the words that we use as fathers. Are you aware of the words that you use every single day? Are you aware of the tone in which you speak those words? Recently, within the last year, I let my 12 year old son make a decision about where he was going to go to school. And I thought I had teed this up so that he was going to make the decision that I wanted. And I remember the moment he told me, nope, dad, this is where I'm going. And as I stood tall, he was on the couch with my words and a negative tone. I said, I am so disappointed in the decision that you made. Now, in that moment, his thought process, I saw it on his face is, oh, shoot, I made the wrong decision. I didn't please my dad. I should choose differently. I'm going to tiptoe more around my dad and what decisions he wants to make. Now, that is just one moment. And I apologized and I have had opportunities to remedy that and give him other opportunities to make decisions, but I can't take those words back. Those were out there, I put those out the way I did it, but I'm learning and you're learning and I'm not giving that as an excuse, but I learned from that moment and I've worked on it with my son. Now think about your own words and your own tone. If I were to ask your spouse, hey, how does he talk to his kids? What would she say? If I were to ask your kids, hey, how does uh, your dad talk to your mom? What would they say? Now, when I ask in that manner, you may have a sense of, ooh, cringe. I don't want you to ask him that. Or, oh, I feel a sense of shame. And I'm not looking for that. What I'm looking for is you to go, ooh, I need to be aware of my words. I need to be aware of the tone that I'm using because this matters. And if I'm just not thinking about it, unconsciously going throughout my day, speaking I may not even be aware of the words I'm using, but when I ask it from the perspective of those in your life, start it might start to click to go, hmm, yeah, I don't think I'd want Ned to hear that. I don't think I'd want my neighbor to hear that, my, my parents to hear that, my friends to hear that. We need to become aware of the words we use. Now, when we speak, we are creating. I can say anything right now. I could tell you a story. I could write a story. I could, I could create something just with my words alone. Now, with my words, I could create something that brings growth and life and the opportunity for you to grow and become better as a human. I could create love and joy and peace and family and harmony all with just my words. But the opposite is also true. With my words, I could create the opposite of those things. Death, hatred, shrinking, destruction, frustration, All with my words, I could create those things. So what are you and I creating each and every day when we speak to our children, when we speak to our spouses, when we speak to anyone, what are we creating? Over the next week, I want you to walk away from every conversation. I challenge you here. Walk away from your conversations going, did this conversation bring life and growth or did this conversation bring death and shrinking? Now, I think when you say life or death, it's a little bit like wooey and a little bit too big. Growth makes sense. Shrinking doesn't make so much sense. But if you think about the context of the story I shared about my son is, did I expand his ability to be a young man? Did I expand his ability to be a man and make decisions and think for himself? No, I did not in that moment. It shrunk and same goes with every opportunity I have to speak to my kids. Am I just telling them what to do? Or am I asking them a question, getting them to think? Am I walking in the room and controlling them, making them always want to step on eggshells around dad? Or am I walking into the room, bringing life, bringing joy, bringing a sense of peace in our home? You as a father have that ability. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about the language, the power that you and I as fathers have when we speak our tone, uh, the language that we use. Next week, I'm going to be talking about Now that you're aware, how to start to take control of the language that you are using, how to start taking control of the words and the tone that you're using. So tune back in next week as we continue to talk about the opportunity you have as you and I have as fathers to influence our children through our words and tone. 
Man, you matter, fatherhood matters. Together, let's rebel against the low expectations for fathers and create a world where fathers know who they are and make enormous impact for generations to come. I look forward to hanging out with you next time.